Good day everyone. We will discuss about data synchronization in synchronous mode for always on availability group in this video. Let's get started. Always on availability group has two modes for data synchronization, which are synchronous and asynchronous mode. We will check the replication of transaction log blocks from the primary replica to a secondary replica as far as synchronous commit mode is concerned. We will be using this representation to discuss further in this video. So we have two servers, uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2, and both these servers are located in a region called South India. So JBS AG1 acts as the primary replica, and JBS AG2 will be acting as the secondary replica. We will have an availability group configured um, on um, uh, JBS AG1, which will act as the primary replica, and uh, JBS AG2 would be the secondary replica consider on the primary replica transaction one and other transactions are writing into the database in this case primary replica is generating transaction log blocks the secondary replica establishes a valid connection to the primary replica using the configured mirroring endpoints the secondary initiates a request to the primary asking for the log blocks to be shipped. Log blocks is a contiguous chunk of memory maintained by the log manager. The secondary and primary will negotiate the proper LSN starting point and other information required. Primary replicas log cache is being filled with these log blocks. When the log cache becomes full or the primary replica issues a commit operation, the log blocks from the log buffer are flushed to the log disk, which is your transaction log. Since we are running in an always on availability group configuration, when the log cache is flushed to the log disk on the primary replica, those log blocks also gets copied to the log pool. The log blocks in the log pool are read by a thread called log capture and its job is to read the log blocks from the log pool and send them to the secondary replica. If there are multiple secondary replicas, there is one log capture thread for each of those replicas, which ensures that the log blocks are sent across multiple replicas in parallel. The log contents get compressed only in asynchronous and encrypted before being sent over to the secondary replica. There is a thread called log receive that is running on the secondary replica. It receives the log block from the network and it starts writing to the log cache. While the log blocks are being returned to the log cache, there is a redo thread that is always running on the secondary replica. It is reading those log blocks and applying those changes to the data pages and index pages in the database on the secondary to bring it up to date with whatever has happened on the primary replica. When the log cache on the secondary replica becomes full or it receives a commit log record, it hardens the content of log cache onto the log disk on the secondary replica. Since the secondary replica is configured to run in synchronous mode, it will set an acknowledgement on the commit to the primary node, indicating that it has ordered the transaction. And so it is safe to tell the user that the transaction is committed. And because the log has been ordered on the secondary, there is an, a guarantee that in case there is a failover, there will be no data loss. While this is going on, the redo thread is applying those transaction log blocks and it is running independently on how log blocks are being generated on the secondary or being copied and persisted. If the redo thread is running few minutes behind, those log blocks may not be available in the log cache. In that case, it will basically uh, pick up those log blocks from the log disk itself. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.